it's me, the ukulele teacher, here to teach you how to play Pride in the Name of Love by U2. So, grab your uke 2. Make sure it's in tune, and when it is in tune it should sound like this. And let's get ready to play Pride in the Name of Love. Before we go any further, I'm just going to play you through a little snippet of the song first to give you guys a rough idea of how it'll sound when you've learned it. If you'd like a song sheet so you can follow along, then please be sure to sign up today to patreon.com slash uteacher, where you get a PDF song sheet with every single lesson, and it helps me to keep making these lessons for you. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you never miss a lesson. Three, four. simple chords repeated almost in the same order all the way through the entire song. These are the chords that you'll need for the song. If you already know them, then skip ahead now. To play the chord of A, put your first finger on the first fret of the third string and your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And the chord of A should sound like this. To play the chord of G, put your first finger on the second fret of the third string, your second finger on the second fret of the first string, and your third finger on the third fret of the second string. And the chord of G will sound like this. To play the chord of E minor, put your first finger on the second fret of the first string, your second finger on the third fret of the second string, and your third finger on the fourth fret of the third string. And the chord of E minor will sound like this. And to play the chord of D, bar the second fret with your first finger, that means you push down on all four strings at the same time with the same finger, and then add your fourth finger to the fifth fret of the first string, and the chord of D will sound like this. Or if you're not comfortable playing bar chords, just put your first, second, and third fingers on the second fret of the fourth, third, and second strings, and the chord of D will sound like this. Now, before we go any further, I just want to say a massive thank you to Ortega Guitars for sending me this beautiful ukulele to play, and for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to find out more about Ortega Guitars or this particular ukulele, then check out the link in the video description below. Also, if you like my Ukulele Pride t-shirt, which seemed appropriate for this particular song, then check out ukuleletees.com, where we've got a wide selection of awesome ukulele-themed t-shirts that make the perfect gift for you or the ukulele lover in your life. Now, maybe the most iconic part of this song is the really cool intro, the part of the song that goes like this. Well, to play that intro, you're basically going to need to bar the ninth fret with your first finger. That means you push down on all four strings at the same time on the ninth fret 
with your first finger. And then the rest of the time you're just moving around your other three fingers to make the three separate chord shapes that you'll need for the intro. So the first thing you'll need to do with your bar on the ninth fret is to put your fourth finger on the 12th fret of the second string and your third finger on the 11th fret of the third string. Now firstly, once you've got that chord shape down, you must learn not to play the first string. So we're just playing the bottom of strings all the way through this intro. And what we're gonna learn first is the strumming pattern because it's not super intuitive, but it is very repetitive. So if you just play it again and again and again, you will soon get the hang of it. The strumming pattern that I play throughout the intro is down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Just play that again and again with your right hand until you've got the hang of it. Down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. And now let's play it with that chord that we have in our left hand. but there's a little something extra we have to do. Firstly, for that down, up, down, up, we'll play it normally. And then for that up, down, we lift up that third finger. Then for the next three, down, up, down, down, up, down, we play down and then lift up our third finger on the up, down. So it's down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. And then we repeat that with a different chord shape, this time keeping that bar on the ninth fret, but we put our second finger on the 10th fret of the second string, but this time on the up downs, we lift up our second finger like this. Down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. And then the next time round, we add our third finger to the 11th fret of the third string and play the same thing again. Remember to lift up your second finger on the up downs. So to put that all together, the intro, nice and slow, will sound like this. Down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. So just play it through nice and slow at first. And then when you can play it at full speed, it should sound a little more like this. And then that takes you into the verse. Now the good news is the verse, the chorus, and the bridge are all very, very simple. They all only have three or four very basic chords in them. So it's a lot easier to play than the intro. The chords for the verse are just A to G to E minor, played through twice. And the strumming that I play is down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down. I play it through twice on the A and once on the G and once on the E minor, like this. Down, down, up, down, down. And that's for the verse, which should sound like this. One man come in the name of love. One man come and go. One man come he to justify. One man to overthrow. And that takes you into the chorus. And here the strong pattern is the same and the chords are almost the same. A to D to G to E minor, played through twice, like this. A, D, G, E minor. A, D, G, E minor. That's for the part of the song that goes like this.
Then for verse 2, the chords are even easier. They're just A to G repeated twice. And instead of strumming, we just play all four strings individually once with our thumb, letting them ring as we play them, like this. That's for the part of the song that goes like this. One man crawl on a barbed wire fence One man he resist One man washed on an empty beach One man betrayed with a kiss Then you repeat the chorus again and then that takes you into the bridge. Now the bridge starts with a little guitar solo that goes like this. And that's basically just the notes of four, five, and seven repeated again and again on the first string. But to give it a fuller sound, I prefer to play the chords A and D and just sing the like this. And then the bridge carries on with the same chords as verse 1, A to G to E minor, like this. And basically you just repeat those various sections of verse, chorus, bridge and intro all the way through in the different orders and you've got the entire song. And that's how to play Pride in the Name of Love by U2. Again, if you'd like to put that all together and get a song sheet to help you learn it, then sign up today to patreon.com slash uteacher where you get a PDF song sheet with every single lesson plus loads of other cool perks, rewards and goodies as well including Twitter and Instagram followbacks exclusive PDF songbooks with song sheets for every single lesson that I've ever done, each video at least 24 hours for the rest of the world, and loads more cool goodies as well, including the chance to win the ukuleles that I play in these videos. And it also makes sure that I can carry on making these videos for you. I've been the ukulele teacher. I'll be back again soon with some more great lessons and videos for you. If you have any requests for songs that you'd like to learn, then let me know right now in the comments below. Otherwise, until next time, I love you all and I wish you the best.